Hi everyone, this is Nandini Naya with Green Spoon Martyr here in Edison, New Jersey. Normally when I come on here, I usually don't have any positive news to share. Usually it's about what um, negative things are happening or yet to come or what we anticipate will be coming. But today is a different day. I actually have uh, two positive breaking news to uh, share with you. So the first is in regard to the student um, ban. As you remember last week, the administration was going to ban um, entry of F1 and M1 students or force F1 and M1 students who are in the United States to depart the US if uh, their schools, their universities were going to go into full-time remote learning for fall 2020. Um, what happened was major litigation happened. Harvard and MIT within almost 24 hours filed a lawsuit along with the state of California later on um, um, and other universities joined on to um, fight this ban from the administration. So yesterday, the Trump administration actually rescinded the policy and they are not going to now force F1 students um, to leave or change schools if their schools are gonna be fall to, um, 2020 full on remote learning. They are not going to not allow entry of other F1 students who are outside the United States and one students who are outside the United States from coming in. So this w was such an important win. Um, it, it talks about litigation and the power of the courts in being able to stop some of these kind of uh, arbitrary and cruel um, policies that the administration has been putting forward. So it's a great win for students um, where what they're going to do is they're going to keep the policies which were in place in March 2020 that um, Basically, if schools are going to be online, they will still continue to be able to maintain F1 student status, active status. It's not going to impact them if the school has decided to go full on remote learning. So we are extremely happy with this outcome. It was very fast, it was very quick. Um, and I think the administration actually saw that there was such a backlash in regard to this. The second breaking news broke overnight, which is that another litigation has been filed in regard to the non-immigrant work visa entry ban specific to H-1B and H-4 um, employees or applicants. Um, this does not include, um, this was a lawsuit that was filed in the District of uh, Columbia last night, um, and it does not include L1s or J1s. It's very specific to H1Bs. There's over 175 plaintiffs, um, seven minor children. There is a great amount of hurt and cruelty um, in regard to that specific administration policy also. And as you can see by ha having over 175 plaintiffs, you can definitely imagine uh, the breadth of um, the damage this is going to do. And a majority of all those plaintiffs are of Indian, uh, are Indian nationals because Indian nationals are disproportionately affected by that entry ban because Indian nationals use about 70, over 70% 70 of the H-1B program. It was just filed yesterday, and I know the next question is, so <laughs> when do we get a decision? Is it gonna be as quick as the student ban? No, I don't think that's gonna be happening that fast. The student ban was, um, there was a timeliness issue because all schools had to certify by uh, July 15th if they were going to go remote or what they were going to do and a lot of schools were starting in a month. So that's why there was such urgency to decide um, on that type of case and why the administration pulled back so quickly. That's not going to be the case, we believe, in regard to this litigation, or you're probably looking at probably September, maybe um, early October, to get some sort of movement and decisions on that entry ban. However, it's an important step that's being taken, and again, with the high number of plaintiffs that are involved in this, and I'm sure they're going to add, continue to add more plaintiffs, and um, you know, as people become aware of this litigation, to sh really show how impactful this ban is is on 
um, foreign workers, foreign talent. So we are so happy to hear about this litigation. We are going to be um, coming back on as soon as we get any sort of movement in the next few weeks on that case because this is absolutely critical to the H-1B population and hopefully then there will be uh, continuous uh, lawsuits going on in regard um, the impact on L-1s and J-1s and H-2Bs and hopefully this starts to have an impact on the administration if we are able to get a good decision that these type of of policies are on you know beyond the scope of an executive order these are unnecessarily cruel there has to be com um, congressional um, approvals on these type of things they just cannot arbitrarily make decisions su such as this so hopefully um, we are going to see a good outcome on this litigation also but it's just gives you some positive news it gives you some hope that we are trying to you know make sure that this administration does not continue on with these type of policies anyway as soon as i know anything and as soon as there is any sort of movement on it i will definitely come back to inform you all